Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do four easy measuring hacks to find the center of your fabrication project by doing the least amount of math possible. Welcome back. Today we're going to be going over... So our first hack is a way to establish a line down the center of a piece of material. Now this piece of material can be square or it can be trapezoidal. Either way this method will work to establish a line that goes down the exact center of this piece of material without having to do any super substantial math. So what you want to do is take your ruler or tape measure and you want to pick a number that's easily divided. Like, so in this case, I'm going to go with 6 because it interacts well with this piece of material. So you want to zero your bottom of your ruler out at this lower edge of the material. And then move your ruler until your 6 inch mark interacts with the opposing side of the material. And half a 6 is 3, so we're going to put a mark right on our 3 there. And then we're going to move further down the material. Now, it doesn't matter if this material is the same distance, as long as you swing that until one side is zero and the other side is six or whatever number you choose. It can be 10 and five, 20 and 10, whatever is gonna half itself. So we're gonna mark our three there again. Now you have your two marks and you can line your ruler up to them. Scribe a line across and you have a line running down the exact center of your material. Finding the center of a circle and perpendicular bisectors. So I'll spare you the drama of the big words and just explain the mechanics of how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is find a tape measure or ruler. And to make this easier on yourself, you want to do it very similar to our first one by finding a divisible of two that is super easy for you to find and within the parameters of your circle. So I'm going to go with eight on this guy. So I'm going to start with my zero at one edge of the circle over here. I'm going to swing my rule over until my eight inches intersects with the edge of the circle here. And I'm going to swing a line across here. Now we know half of eight is four, so we're going to mark that out. Now I'm going to make a line somewhere else on here. It honestly does not matter where you put it. So we're going to come over here and zero our one end out again and swing this over until our eight inches intersects with the opposing edge and slice the line across this. And then mark the center again, which is eight. Now, these two lines that we marked out here are our perpendicular bisectors. So next, you wanna take a square, so you are perpendicular, and line up with this guy and our center mark here, and rip the line straight up through there. And do the same with this one. Find where your square there and lined up with your mark and rip a line up through the center there. And the center of our circle is directly at the intersection of these two lines, which in this case is right at the edge of that hole there. So that's a super easy way to find the center of any circle that you have. And the only math that we had to do was eight divided by two, which is something easy. So our third hack is an easy way to find the center point of our chunk of sheet metal here. The first one was to establish a center line, but we want to establish a center point in any rectangular or square piece of material that we have. So quick and easy way to do that. Take your straight edge and go from corner to corner and scribe a line or sharpie, however you want to say it. And then from your opposing corner to corner. and scribe a line. And it is as simple as that. The point at which your two lines intersect is the center of your square or rectangle. In our fourth and final measuring hack, I mostly use this one when I have a long chunk of material and I don't need to make super specific measurements, but I want to find the center of it. So I'll ballpark half of this measurement. So maybe I'll run the tape across it and say, okay, it's roughly 23 inches. I will just guess where my halfway mark is. I'm going to err to the shorter side of half. So I'm going to go and mark this out at 11 inches. Then I'm going to take my tape 
and flip it to the other side. And I'm going to mark it out at 11 inches again. Then when I come together, I only have to find the center of this smaller area. And I can eyeball that. Your tolerances are worth it within an eighth of an inch or so. Since this is a short video, I'm going to give you guys one more bonus tip here. This does not have to do with finding the center, but most often I use Sharpies in the shop. And if you mark your piece in the incorrect place and you need to erase it, not many people know this, but you can erase it with your Sharpie. Existing marks that you accidentally put in the wrong place or whatever when you're measuring something out, you can go right back over top of it with a fresh Sharpie, come through and wipe it off with a rag or your finger and erase it. Thanks for watching this week's Fab TNT, guys. Please subscribe and leave a like and go build something.